How's it going everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh KD, Lonely Hermit. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into week three of the Elite Battle League. We're going to be taking on uh, the New Brunswick Ninetales and their coach, Jack Nishin, a good friend of the channel, of course. Um, we are in the friendship division, so that's inevitable. Um, he is the first of three of the closer friends I have in this division. Sorry, Freeze. I love you, though. Um, we'll be working together very soon. Um, that we'll be facing back to back to back. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we need a rebound. Um, but before we get into all that, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you are a subscriber, be sure to leave a like on the video. Check out the socials in the description. My Twitter and Instagram are both at HermitLonely underscore. Uh, check out the playlist link for the EBL matches for the EBL weekly roundups. Those are both down there alongside our current playthrough of Pokemon Sword. It's a Nuzlocke, of course. Um, and of course, did I say merch? Check out the merch down below. I don't think I said that. We have Loner's merch. We have LA Inferno merch. So be sure to check out all the good stuff down below. Um, now Jack's team is, is very interesting and it's going to be quite tough, um, to, to, to take down. I've come up with some new strategies, some different strategies. Um, new chair, new glasses, new everything. We got new stuff going all around. So for his team, I'm thinking, I was thinking Cryogonal and Sylveon and probably Tangrowth are like guarantees. I wouldn't be surprised to see Zekrom either. That's that's also pretty much a guarantee, a lock-in. The other ones were a little tougher to predict. I'm thinking Bronzong, because I feel like it'll just do well against my team um, alongside maybe Snorlax, maybe Dusk Noir could make an appearance. Arcanine was one of the ones that's kind of like, mm, does he really bring it? It's kind of weak to a lot of Pokemon I have. Golgi was the other one um, purely because of like toxic spikes and poison point and those like really annoying strategies so Jogology could be making an appearance, but right now I'm going with Cryogno, Zekrom, Bronzong, Tangrowth, Sylveon, and Snorlax. Those are the Pokemon I'm going to be running with. Like I said, I I, I literally, right before <laughs> uh, Jack messaged me, hopped into a... a um, Right before we hopped into a call and got into like talking and all that, um, I just got an EV training a Pokemon, my new Leafeon that I EV trained. We have a brand new Corviknight as well. I fixed up Hippowdon's move sets. Um, we have, uh, we, yeah. So I have a very interesting story with our Corviknight um, because it. I was breeding yesterday to try to get a new one. Um, if that gives you a hint as to what kind of set I'm running, um, I was trying to get a new one and I ended up getting a shiny one. So roll the clip real quick. Yeah, yeah, it was literally like less, it had to have been about 15 eggs, maybe, if that. And I just randomly got a shiny Rookadee. I was like, well, I'm using this. <laughs> like it has it has what I need it to have and I'm gonna fix it up and get it ready. The only problem is its nature isn't what I want it to be. It, it currently has a neutral nature, but you know, I figured as long as it's not something that's hindering itself in some other way, I could stick with the neutral nature. I just didn't have the time to get the other nature I needed. I know I could have probably asked someone for like a mint or something, but. <laughs> so yeah uh for his team his team's gonna be tough i have plans for his zekrom for his cryogonal um his bronzong is gonna be the tough one his sylveon as well they're gonna be some tough ones to try and take down um snorlax i feel like we could probably get rid of that fairly quickly i feel like zekrom and cryogonal we just need a little bit of luck this time around we need a little bit of luck this time around uh, i'm gonna go ahead and hit this um so now i can choose the moves i don't know if he's still introing i don't know if he wanted me to do this i don't know uh we're kind of doing a little different with jack today um single battle normal rules yes um this is so i'm gonna show you our team that we are rocking we're gonna be rocking with this team right here we have uh rotom heat corvinite leafion swampert mamoswine and hippowdon no Terranatar. So it's the first match where we're only bringing one sand Pokemon. Um, I just feel like Tyranitar was going to get hurt a lot more than it was going to help. Um, so I decided not to bring it. I, I thought Mamoswine and Swampert were going to be a nice combo for us. Tangrowth is a little bit of a problem still, but I think we can probably work around it. Um, as well as the... Um, 
we didn't bring Djokovic because again, I, well, for the first time this season, because I felt like it really wasn't going to benefit us too much. I felt like it was just going to die too quickly. And I felt like maybe Jack would kind of plan around it. I mean, Krag, you know, Zach, Rom, um, who else? Sylveon. I'm sure Dustmark can literally move to deal with it. Jugology can deal with it. There's too many Pokemon in this team that could deal with Djokovic. I feel like it wouldn't help us too much. Um, and again, Landers is, is at home as well because I just, I don't think Landers will benefit too much in this match either. Um, we're, like I said, our Leafeon and our Corviknight are running some very good, very interesting sets, um, different sets. Our coordinates a little bit annoying. I'm gonna be listening to music for this match so I can calm down a little bit. Um, our our um, coordinates gonna be a little bit annoying. Our Leafeon's a little bit surprising too, so that's exciting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put let the battle begin. I don't know if he's ready yet. Oh, he is. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna be leading with Rotom heat on the chance that i okay okay boom yes no dust car okay so that was the one pokemon that i was um uh, questionable about so cryogonal no zekrom no zekrom cryogonal bronzong uh sylveon tangrowth snorlax no zekrom okay that's actually a little bit beneficial not gonna lie uh but let me see cryogonal uh wrote down bronzong I wrote down, sorry, I'm taking so long. Tangro, Sylveon, wait, Cryogonal, Bronzong, Tangro, Sylveon, Snorlax. What am I missing? What didn't I, Dustnoir, duh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna lead off. Okay, this actually might change my decision on what we lead off. I think he still leads off with either Tangrowth or Cryogonal, honestly. He might lead off with uh, Dustnoir, which is fine. Either In any case, we should outspeed a lot of Pokemon on this team and we could just, uh Volt switch out. Uh, so we're gonna lead with Rotom Heat. And here's hoping to a faster, uh, a faster match from Jack, as well as a better performance from us, because we need a win, or at least need to keep it close. So we need to keep this match close. That's the hope here. His number is 510. I'm gonna ask him why his number is 510 later. I need to remember that. Um, so let's see. He didn't bring the Jugology, which actually, I'm very happy he didn't bring it. Zekrom as well, but I feel like I'm not that surprised by Zekrom not coming, because Zekrom could be a, uh, a huge problem. Um, uh, as in, I can take care of it easily. That's what I meant. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna protect. We're gonna see what he does. Um, we're just gonna protect first turn. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Oh no! Here we go. He's gonna switch, isn't he? Ah! I should have attacked. It's fine. It's fine. It's always good to get a feel of like what a Pokemon's gonna do and all that good stuff. So plus, I think if we fail this turn, we can protect next turn guaranteed. So we can still get a feel. Oh my God, Jack! Please. I'm not trying to do this today. <laughs> oh, this match is going to timer. This match is going to timer. <laughs> this match is going to go to timer. So he would do. I believe, I'm pretty sure it's how Protect works. Uh, inevitable is a Snorlax. Yes. Um, which is fine. Uh, what is he going to do today? He's probably got something. He has to have something for Firecracker. Should we just Protect again? I feel like we just Protect again. Thunder Wave is useless because Snorlax is going to out, um, get outsped anyways. At least it should. Um, if we switch out, we go to, uh, Eden? We go to Eden? We could go to Saya. I'm gonna protect again, because I think, I think it should work? I'm pretty sure it's how protect works, right? Yeah, if you fail one turn, it doesn't count as an actual failure. Um, so let's see what he does. Body press, that's fine. Body press, okay. Uh, so who can take a body press is a good question. Um, you're weak. You probably can't. So who wants to take a body press here? Who wants to take a body press here? Um, I could just go into Moto Moto and just kind of stall a little bit. The question is, what do we do after the fact? Um, we're gonna Volt Switch. We're gonna Volt Switch out. I'm sure he probably just, or did he not? I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure he just clicked it again, but. Okay, so we're gonna Volt Switch out. That's like, that did a decent chunk of damage, you know? I did a decent chunk of damage. We're gonna go to Hippowdon, I think. I like that's the safest bet. You guys can see this. You can see these setups. I'm I'm hoping I can pull this off. I just need to get into a good enough position to do so. So how much is he really shouldn't do too much because Moto Moto is like nice and bulky. Um he should do he should do an okay amount. But I'm not expecting like a ton. Body song, that's fine. He might paralyze, which would be not ideal. Okay, cool. He got hit with the sandstorm. Sorry, my song's on repeat. I need to go to the next one. <laughs> That's what I'm more worried about right now. Um, I, I have a feeling he switches. 
Does he predict the earthquake? I don't think so. I think we just yawn. I think we just yawn, played safe. He probably has sleep talk. He withdrew. Yes, so the yawn was correct. Okay. Tries to get the prediction on the levitate. We're gonna put this thing to sleep. That's okay with me. So, uh, if he forces a switch, realistically, what else? Tangrowth comes out? Do we think Tangrowth comes out? Do we think Tangrowth comes out? Or do we think Cryogonal comes out? I feel like Manny might be the safest switch here. Uh, or we could slack off. Or we could roar. That was one of my plans. Let's try and get rid of um, something off the field. We could slack off and try and keep Moto Moto alive. But is there a reason to? Is a good question. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to Manny. We're gonna go to Manny. Let's hope Manny he doesn't switch. Ah, okay, okay. Does he get off a steel type move? Stealth Rock. Okay, so you're gonna let it sleep to get off the Stealth Rock. That's okay. Uh, 50-50 by Vantage. Listen to that song. It's really good. Um, okay, so he's asleep. Does he switch here? And if so, who does he switch to? Let's test it out. Let's test the waters. I know, I know Ice Shard is not very effective, but... Does he? I'm testing whether or not he lets Bronzong stay in and die. Because if he does, I'm going to switch out to my um, Rotom Heat. I know it's kind of a waste of a turn, but, you know, we got to we gotta kind of make some risky plays here if we want to get some, some good damage off. I think he's going to switch. I feel like Bronzong's a little too important to him. Wow, he let it stay in. I know it's not going to take a lot of damage, but okay. No, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, we're going to switch. It was guaranteed to stay asleep that turn. It could wake up this turn, which would obviously not be ideal. Um, so we're just going to go into Sire. We're going to get into Sire. We're going to try our little strategy here. Hopefully it pans out. I need him to stay asleep this turn and hopefully next turn. Okay, cool. The hope... Uh, does he stay asleep next turn? Does he stay asleep? Does he stay asleep? Does he stay asleep? I need a little bit of luck on my side. I need a little bit of luck on my side. I need a little bit of luck on my side. The good thing is, is the sub, the sorry, the sandstorm went away, so synthesis is gonna get, still give me a, like 50% HP back, which is good. Which means we can get off our substitute. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get off our substitute. We're gonna cut our HP. That's fine. That's what we wanted. It woke up. Use Reflect. Okay, that's a good. That's actually really good for us. That's actually really good for us. Okay, we got off a free substitute. Now we're going to go off a Swords Dance. The good part about Baton Pass, okay, is that it passes off Substitute. So the hope is that we can still get Substitute off. And um, we can Baton Pass out. Um, if anything, we sacrifice Sire to make sure that that happens. Uh, as in, we leave it on low HP. Trick Room, that's fine. That's actually... Does that benefit me? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna Swords Dance again. He's gonna attack. He's probably gonna attack. He outspeeds me. He probably outspeeds me. Now. He has to. Bronzong's very slow. So we're gonna synthesis. Get our health back up. Cause yeah, he's probably gonna break the substitute. No! Ah, I should have probably predicted that. I should have probably known it wouldn't break the substitute. We're gonna heal up. We're gonna heal up. The music is actually helping for once. I'm actually fairly calm right now. Okay, the question is... If we get another Swords Dance off, Blackbeard can help a lot and get rid of a lot of things here. Which I think is exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go off another Swords Dance. I know he can't finish- he's gonna, at the very least, break my substitute. So he's not gonna hurt me. Which is fine. So we're gonna get off another Swords Dance. Don't break, don't break. Ah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now the big question is, can Saya take one hit? Because I want to get off a substitute. I really want to get off a substitute so I can baton pass with it. Can he get off a substitute? Can he take a gyro ball from an ACDC? It's gonna out, it's gonna outweigh me heavy. It's attack stats not incredible though. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Please take this hit. Please take this hit. Yes! 
Messiah, the boat, exactly how I built you. Exactly for this reason. Yes. Yes. And the reflect wore off. Let's get out of here. We're going to baton pass out in the Corviknight. It's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs> it's working, dude. Oh, my goodness. So reflect is like plus two or something like that. So we're going to baton pass out. Throw the baton. Throw the baton. Throw the baton. Catch it. Throw the baton. Throw the baton. Throw the baton. Catch it. Guess who gets to keep the substitute, too? Let's go. Uh, do I go? With, uh, this is one of my conundrums. Is do I go to Eden or do I go to Blackbeard? The problem is uh, Blackbeard only has uh, body press, which isn't a very effective on Sylveon. But Jack doesn't know that, so he might not go into Sylveon with Blackbeard and be scared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Gigantamax here. I'm gonna Gigantamax, and we're just gonna get a max knuckle off. The substitute's still up, baby. Oh, maybe we should uh, the Twisted Dimensions return to normal as well. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna body press here. Let's see how much this does. My heart's pounding right now, guys. My heart's pounding right now. We got it off. The question is how much damage can Corviknight do? It body presses a majority of his team, except for Sylveon. But like I said, I don't think Jet goes out on Sylveon. That, what? That reflect was huge, dude. This thing is bulky. Its defense is too high right now. Okay, so we're gonna Gigantamax. I'm gonna give it to the substitute. We're gonna Gigantamax. Cause we need to we need to get some more damage that isn't based off defense. It's fine. Cause Max Knuckle should do a decent amount. He's gonna stay in because he knows ACDC can tank hits. Unless he switches to What do I see him switching to? Bronzo? No, Dustnor? Who's traded? That's yep. So okay. He's probably gonna get off like a confused ray or something. Pressure could be a big problem actually. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, pressure definitely saw that coming. We're gonna get rid of the stealth rocks too. Oh, Gigantamax shiny, Gigantamax Fortnite is so nice. Alright, cool. He's almost, he's got more health than him at level 100. That's awesome. Ah, uh, good prediction. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That was a great prediction, dude. Ugh, that did not go off how I needed it to. I kind of want to... What does he do here? What does he do here? I was going to bring Iron Head too, and I should have brought it. I, I should have brought it, dude. I should have just left bulk up. That's what I did. I kid you not. Right before we got into this match, I literally took off bulk up for Iron Head. But then I was like, nah, what if Leafeon dies? Da, 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 da. I doubted myself. I should have just left Iron Head on. I should have just left. I have to. I'm sorry. I have to waste it. I could have max guarded whatever. It doesn't matter. I have to waste it. I have to waste it. So we should have gone to Swamp Root. That's what we learned today is we should have gone to Swamp Root. That was such a waste, dude. That's fine. Oh, yeah, we're fire type. <laughs> so that was kind of a waste of a turn for him. Um, What is this dust we're going to have? It had Will Wisp, which is obvious. Let's, uh... We'll switch out. God. Ugh. Ugh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough one. Confused way. Please, please break through. Please break through. Please. I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting flashbacks. Please break through. Please break through. Please break through. Yes. Okay. Cool. So that was useless. The question is, do we try it again? Do you think he'll let us try it again? You think he'll let us try it again? This time, I, instead, I'll go into Eden, and it'll be way better because he's got more diversity. The only problem is obviously Tangro. Do I try it again? I don't think I do. I don't think I try it again. I don't think I try it again. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, but the question is, who do I go into here? Manny? What do we need Manny for? We need Manny for Tangro. We need Manny for Tangro. I should have brought Iron Head, dude. I re that's my biggest regret so far. I was going to bring it. I really was. Like I said, I had it. I had it. I had it. I had it, dude. And I should have. I should have just brought it. Does he predict the Earthquake? Eh, I think we just get off. Let's see what Ice Shard does. He probably, he probably switches trying to predict the Earthquake. 
I think we could get it off again. And knowing knowing the damage that Saya can take, I think we can maybe get it off again. And this time with Swampert, maybe only plus two though. I feel like we won't be we won't be able to go as far this time around. Okay, so he's gonna stay in. That's gonna do a nice little chunk. He's gonna Will O Wisp. That's fine. We have Freeze Dry, which is special. Not built specially, but it's it's still something that, that can be uh, useful here. So we're gonna stay in here. Uh, Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Uh, we outsped. No. Priority. 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 That does kind of suck for Tangrowth, but it's okay. He's probably gonna switch to Tangrowth. I would. Is he going to? Noodles? He's Brute? No, he's gonna switch to Bronze on again. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go back. Knowing how much Saya can take, it is so tempting to just try it again. Ah, oh, Blackbeard. If the Dust Noir dies, and then Blackbeard will become a lot more useful. I think we go into Moto Moto and slack off. And just try to burn a turn from him. Get the sand back up. Let Moto Moto take a hit here. Gyro Ball definitely won't do anything to Moto Moto. I know that. We don't neither of us get hit by Sam, so this is kind of pointless right here. Dude, this match is genuinely gonna go to nowhere. Trick Room, that's fine. We can't hit it, which is okay. I kind of locked myself like that, but I only wanted to do with Hippowdon. I don't know why I didn't think of Dust Noir. Like, I'm so stupid. I should have brought it, dude. I'm gonna keep saying it because I should have done it. I should have done it. Reflect, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're gonna heal Moto Moto back up. Because right now, it looks like we're probably about 10 minutes into the match, maybe more. So I need to start thinking about keeping HP high. I need to start thinking about it. I think we try it again. I think we try it again. We put him back to sleep. I'm getting deja vu. Uh, let's see, switch here. Probably to Tangrowth, right? Or Cryogonal? My best guess is at least. His Cryogonal is going to have Freeze Dry, so Swampert's definitely not coming out on that. So who do we bring out? Probably, I guess Rotom. Rotom. I don't know why I said that weird. Yep, there's Cryogonal. So we're going to get a Yawn off on this thing. Perfect. So he's going to try and get off one hit before, uh, before I leave. How much you want to bet? He stays in, tries to get off one hit. So I think we go to Firecracker and Volt switch out to Saya. Because we have one guaranteed. He's not going to fall asleep till the end of this turn. So we have a guaranteed one turn where he's going to stay asleep. That's I love. That, that's why I love Yawn, because it work, how it works. Man, this is such a great battle so far. Oh my goodness. I don't think anyone I think I think maybe he has a slight edge on me, maybe? But it's honestly so close right now. What's he gonna do? Oh the pointed stones. I'm just gonna do Okay, cool. I'm shaking guys, I'm shaking. Woo. I'm shaking. I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm panicking. I think we go for the overheat actually and try and kill it. Nothing on his team is really taking an overheat. He brings out Bronzong, doesn't take it. Sylveon doesn't take it. Maybe Snorlax, I guess, is the only one that could take it. Yeah, I think Jack has the advantage on this right now, but. Geez, this is gonna be a, such an intense battle. Okay, he's gonna withdraw. Bring out. What are you gonna bring out? Okay, yeah, Snorlax. That's fine. That is fine. That's a okay. It's a okay. It's gonna lower a special attack. Does it oh the twisted dimensions are still up. Three minutes left. Oh no, he's gonna win. He's got more health. He's got more health than me. He's got more health than me. I'm trying to make my decisions quick. I don't know if you guys noticed. I'm only at two turns, go to like 30 seconds. Just saying, just saying. But this no, I will say Jack's being a little bit faster with his decisions. Not right now, but he's being a little bit faster with his decisions. He's gonna he's gonna Gigantamax. How do you know it? 
I'm gonna have to switch back into Rotom to protect. What does he do here? What does he do here? We'll go back to Motomoto because Motomoto can take the most hits. Ah, uh, we could go to Blackbeard actually. Can't believe I had to waste my Dynamax like that. I'm so dumb. Why didn't I bring Iron Heart? This would have been a completely different battle if I brought it, dude. This would have been a completely different battle if I brought it. How much you want to bet? Is the Reflect still up? That doesn't do anything. Does it paralyze? The Reflect we're off. Perfect. Um, we're going to substitute. And then we're going to Roost. He, he, he definitely Dynamaxes towards the end. I think he wins based off HP. I think he wins based off HP. Sends out ACDC, and we're gonna get stalled. <laughs> yeah, I think he wins based off of HP. We have to roost here, and hopefully we can get it off. So we're gonna roost and try and get our HP back up. That's all we can do. There's no way the first match of the Elite Battle is gonna have... No, I'm not gonna jinx it. 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 Oh! <laughs> Dude. I think he wins based off HP. I'm okay with losing like this. I'm okay with losing like this. I'm okay with that. This was such a good battle, dude. This was such a good battle. If I lose like this, you know what? I'm okay with it. This was such a good battle, man. I'm gonna bulk up to raise my defense. We're just gonna stall here. We're just gonna stall each other out. That's fine with me. Oh my goodness. Guys, oh my god, guys. <laughs> oh. GG's, Jack. GG's. I wish I could have gotten off a synthesis with the uh, Saya. Oh, maybe I should. No, by the time we switch and get back in, there's no way. No, there's no way. There's no way. Even if I had made the decision right away, there's no chance. I guess we just boost. Oh my god, this is gonna be so close. He's gonna try to Dynamax, he can't, can he? Please turn end before he can get in here. Seven, six, five, four, three. Yeah, there's no way, even if he Dynamaxes, battle's over. First Elite Battle League match with no kills, bro. I had to focus on HP at the end, but I think he got us. Or did he? Wait a minute, did he? Dude, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes! Yes! We walked away with it. Barely! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Jack! Fantastic freaking battle, dude! Jack! Fantastic freaking battle, dude! Fantastic freaking battle, Jack! 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 Fantastic freaking battle, dude! Oh my god, fantastic freaking the first EBO match with no kills and we won it. Let's go. No, but Jack, Jack, absolutely GG's dude. That was an incredible match. That was an incredible match, dude. Incredible match. Excuse me, we're stuck at plus six. I mean minus six, so but I don't care. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god guys that was incredible that was incredible i just got done talking to jack and my goodness he, he agrees that was just an incredible match um and like i said i don't think he was even taking forever um he really wasn't with his decisions i don't think i think maybe only like three or four turns went to like 30 seconds so we were we were, we were kind of going quick with our decisions but um it's just man that was incredible um we talked about it and apparently there's something to do with statuses and stone thing uh you might lose if it's, I don't know. I personally disagree with that. I, if that is a rule, I haven't heard anything of it um, because that's, I feel like that's too RNG based in my opinion. Um, for now, I'm taking a dub unless I guess I'm told otherwise, which all that hype would have been for nothing. Um, I don't really see the point of disagreeing with the game when uh, it tells you who won and who got all the HP. And I'd be saying the same thing if Jack won too. I'd be saying, I, I promise, I'd be saying the same exact thing if Jack won. Um, so, but it is what it is for now. I'm taking a dub unless again, I'm told otherwise, but what a match, dude. What a match. That was incredible. Um, I just, I really wish if I had brought Iron Head or Joe Peck on Quarter of Night, I would have gotten some kills. Guaranteed. Guaranteed would have gotten some kills. But uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out that way.
but uh yeah so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and leave it off there um and yeah so be sure to check out the socials in the description my twitter and instagram are below that lonely underscore uh check out the merch store down below we got loners merch we got la inferno merch all that good stuff is down below uh the playlist links for all the ebl matches and all the ebl weekly roundups are down below as well uh as uh, alongside the playlist link for our pokemon sword nuzlocke series uh of course down in the description is our opponent jack nishin like i said he's a good good friend of the channel so be sure to check out all his good stuff down below as youtube uh or any other socials i put down below for him um and yeah of course be sure to share socials with your friends family everyone you know let people know lonely heroes where it's at we'll see you guys in the next one bye